so there it is right back there I got it at an estate sale it's a mid-century modern shape when I found it it was falling apart the sides were warped the top was coming off the back of it was made out of cardboard we had to replace everything except for the drawers my dad did it my dad said to me why even bother I like the wood handles and I think that it's perfect for this mid-century modern geometric paint job situation. Thank goodness the mechanism where the drawers slid in and out still worked. You need to paint the entire dresser with beadboard. It's good, it's white, it's white paint. I chose a dresser with very plain lines because I knew there would be a lot of detail in the paint pattern. DIY paint is highly pigmented, so even the whites go on in one coat most of the time. We're gonna try and create this like angular shape formation. There'll be this sweeping geometric pattern going on across the whole dresser. I might have the pattern wrap around to the sides and go up on top of it. We're just gonna experiment. I'm gonna see if I can come up with a, a cool triangular shape. And then once we get the triangles, then we're gonna fill it in with paint and it's gonna create this geometric pattern, hopefully. I'm just gonna wing it. There is really no right or wrong way to do this. I just experimented with the tape until I was happy with the design. Check out my Pinterest board for the original project. The link is down below. Oh, that is way too bright. Fancy farm girl right here. This is mermaid tail. It's a bright, oceany, beachy blue color. For my project, I used Old 57, Bohemian Blue, Cowgirl Coral, Fancy Farm Girl, and Apothecary. Use whatever colors you like to fit your style. I use the Green Frog Brand Painter's Tape. It's made specifically for creating designs. It goes on easy and doesn't pull up the paint when you're done. Dark and decrepit liquid patina will work as a gel stain on raw wood. I applied two coats to the top. I love this because it's water-based and non-toxic. I'm gonna take the tape and I'm gonna pull it like a band-aid. I'm just gonna do it. I'm thinking that it's gonna be a good thing. I, I don't know, we'll see. It might need a little bit of touch-up, but we're just gonna go with it now. Just pull it and, and pray. It looks really good. It needs a little bit of touch up and then we're gonna put on this and then we'll be done. It's like wax, but it's liquid. You just brush it on or wipe it on and it protects it. It's easier. There's not all the rubbing and the buffing. I like wax too, but I like this when I'm feeling lazy. Clear Patina is a durable, non-toxic top coat. Apply two coats with a brush or a cloth to get the beautiful look of wax without all the work. Here comes a big forklift thing. Can you hear it? and there is a helicopter now. All right, I'm gonna get to the point really fast because it, there have been helicopters flying over, cars driving by, now the battery's gonna die. The dresser turned out good. I'm totally relieved because whenever I have to use painter's tape, straight lines, and be really precise, it doesn't always work out well, but it was actually a lot easier than I thought. I post new videos every Thursday, so if you don't wanna miss it, subscribe. Let me know in the comments if painter's tape intimidates you. It freaks me out, been creating precision detail kind of stuff, or if you prefer the more organic, free-flowing, 
kind of design. And yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Click the link below to find a DIY paint retailer near you or to shop online. Thanks for watching.